top 10 places to visit in Chile. Chile, a country of extraordinary beauty, is home to a few fascinating towns with a variety of attractions just waiting to be discovered. A rich tapestry of the mountain and plain, jungle and ocean make up this Patagonian nation. Due to its unusually long form, Chile has a variety of climates, including one of the driest deserts in the world in the north and penguin colonies in the southernmost part. Along with Argentina and New Zealand, Chile is one of the countries that is most nearby to Antarctica. Since everyone who sailed around the world before the Panama Canal was built had to pass its tip, the South has a long tradition of welcoming explorers. The nation is also home to a well-known wine area that draws a sizable number of enophiles every year. Number 10, La Serena. The capital of its region in the north and Chile's second oldest city, La Serena, is a charming location to visit. It has a delightful long beach that stretches along the ocean, a ton of gorgeous colonial and neo-colonial architecture, old stone churches and tree-lined boulevards. La Serena doesn't have many attractions besides the amazing archaeological museum but it is incredibly rewarding to just stroll through its charming streets and visit its vibrant markets. The city gets crowded with Chilean visitors in the first few months of the year, but the rest of the year is calmer. You can take a few fantastic day excursions from the area around La Serena to the nearby beaches, the quaint towns and the vineyards that dot the landscape. Number 9. Santiago de Chile with 40% of the nation's people living in the capital of Chile, it is a thriving cosmopolitan city brimming with life and vigour. There is a thriving cultural scene with a wide variety of fantastic museums, shows, galleries and more, and each neighbourhood has its unique ambiance. A sophisticated city, Barrios Brazil offers visitors the chance to visit its top-notch restaurants, stroll through its upscale districts and relax in one of its many parks located on hilltops. Santiago is surrounded by gorgeous snow-capped mountains and because it is so close to the coast, you can go skiing and to the beach on the same day. Number 8. Chilaway Island the biggest island in the Chiloé archipelago, Chiloé Island is the second largest island in South America after Tierra del Fuego. It is located in the Los Lagos region. Chiloé has a unique design and a distinct local culture, in part as a result of its geographic isolation from the rest of Chile. To spread Christianity throughout the archipelago, the Spanish colonists who landed in the 16th century and the Jesuit missionaries who came after built hundreds of distinctive wooden churches. Catholicism and indigenous Chilean beliefs have been combined as a result. Number 7. Iquique Iquique is a bustling multicultural city with a magnificent beachfront that is spectacularly situated at the base of a barren coastal mountain range with a massive dune overlooking it. Surfers, casino goers, paragliders and shoppers all feel at home in Iquique because it is located in a duty-free retail area and borders the Pacific Ocean. Its lovely oceanfront promenade makes for a serene and beautiful stroll and wooden walkways add to its charm. This beach resort is one of Chile's finest. Iquique is a wonderful starting point from which to explore the northern region of Chile. In addition to relaxing on the region's picture-perfect beaches, surfing in its waters and paragliding above the dunes. Number 6. Chilean Fjords The only way to reach this region of Patagonia is through one of the many fjords and channels that line Chile's southern shore. The experience of sailing through this area can be memorable. The majority of excursions depart from Puerto Montt and head south towards Laguna San Rafael, Puerto Natales and the Carretera Austral. Visitors will experience days of empty fjords 
up-close encounters with glaciers and views of fiery Pacific sunsets on this trip. The channels progressively get smaller to the south. Whales, numerous birds and marine lions may all be seen by travellers along the route. Number 5. Valparaiso The stunning place where Valparaiso, which overlooks the ocean, only adds to its uniqueness. It is charming but disorganised, colourful but falling apart. Valparaiso is a joy to explore and has long attracted artists and thinkers to its shores. Its winding streets and stairways spilling down the city's hillsides to the sea below, as well as its vibrant street art and brightly painted decaying buildings, make the city a delight to explore. Even though it has a bohemian vibe, the city is quite gritty and edgy, with seafarers and prostitutes roaming the streets and a few dangerous neighbourhoods that visitors should stay away from. Having said that, Valparaiso is one of the most well-liked cities to tour in the nation, and when you see its old town full of moody cafes and bars around the port area, you'll undoubtedly fall in love with this peculiar place. Number 4. Chilean Lake District From Temuco in the north to Puerto Montt in the south, this long green volcanic valley area is located. It has mountains covered in snow, snow-capped volcanoes and dense woods. The Mapuche were one of the few South American tribes that managed to escape being absorbed into the Incan empires and lived in the densely forested lake region before the arrival of the Europeans. There are still some stunning undeveloped areas left such as Chile's Yosemite and Los Aliose National Park. These mountains are higher and more angular than anything in North America due to their recent age, only 2,000 years, making them well worth the journey on their own. Number 3. San Pedro de Atacama The Antofagasta region in Chile contains San Pedro de Atacama, which is perched high on a plateau and encircled by a vast number of mountains, lakes and rock formations. The small town, which is not far from the Bolivian border, is very well liked among Chilean and foreign tourists equally because of its breathtaking landscapes and scenery. The otherworldly Valle de la Luna, which has a very celestial natural appearance, and the El Tatio geysers, which shoot up so high into the air, are just two of the region's many attractions. In addition, you can go see the old petroglyphs at Rainbow Valley as well as the pink flamingos at Laguna Chaxa. The nightlife in the city is a little different. Star tours, which are popular because it is one of the darkest places on the earth and a chance to see the night sky unobstructed, are a major draw. Number 2. Torres del Paine Located on Chile's southernmost point is the Towers of Blue National Park. Some horns or other mountains and glaciated lakes can be found in the park, which gets its name from three enormous structures. You can take catamaran trips, multi-day treks or small van tours to explore this area. Some businesses will also provide horseback excursions to some of the locations. A large portion of the park can only be accessed on foot, but several top-notch tour services can assist with carrying equipment and preparing meals on five to seven day treks. Number one, Easter Island. A remote island in the Pacific Ocean, also referred to as Rapa Nui, Easter Island is situated about 3,700 kilometers off the shore of Chile. It is well known for its recognisable sculptures known as Moai, which the Rapa Nui people carved between the 13th and 16th centuries. Over 900 Moai, some of which stand over 10 metres tall and weigh over 75 tonnes, can be found on the island. The island's distinctive Polynesian culture, which is still being upheld by the Rapa Nui people today, is another well-known feature. Despite its remoteness, Easter Island has grown to be a well-liked travel location. Travellers come to see the Moai and take in the island's distinctive culture and scenic beauty. 
Along with the Moai, the island provides a variety of activities like hiking, surfing and snorkeling, in addition to customary cultural activities and celebrations. Easter Island can be expensive to travel to and requires planning because of its remote location. But for those who are prepared to travel there, Easter Island offers a unique and unforgettable experience.